Yeah, I will introduce myself. Uh, so the first question is, why did we get into uh, you know building Namayatri? Why did we uh, choose to participate in Beckon and contribute? Uh, I will give a, a brief about my own learnings in life in the last, uh, I would say, 20 years. Uh, so the last 10 years, we have been running JustPay. We have uh, contributed to UPI. We have always, two years before UPI, we met Pramod. And we really, like, you know, our wavelength, we, we were able to immediately connect and uh, we wanted to contribute. Uh, and you can see UPI, uh, how, uh, how much it's contributing uh, to India and even the world it is growing to, right? And second, we used to, uh, we have been working on uh, Open Credit Enablement Network, OKEN, and the third is uh, Beckon. So uh, last 10 years, we have been running JustPay. Uh, uh, but you won't find me as a businessman. I wanted to be a scientist in life, right? So my early part of my life has been, you know, really going into the first principles or the fundamentals. So truly understand, you know, how things work, right, at the lowest level. Um, so that is something that uh, I'm still finding uh, working with Promo and uh, the Beckham Foundation that uh, it is it is going to it is very first principles, right? So and that is one reason. Uh, second is, uh, 10 years ago, uh, I realized that I am not a scientist, <laughs> right? I am not a Newton who found out all the Newton's law when he was 18 years old. Uh, I've been working in the software industry, and was, I was still struggling to, you know, uh, create, uh, frustrated about I'm not doing, you know, enough of cutting-edge work. Uh, so somewhere along the lines, I went into music. So I discovered, you know, the beauty of things. Uh, science was probably, I, I, like I, see, you, even you would relate, I always wanted direct understanding in science and things like string theory and uh, parallel universes, I couldn't really have the touch and feel for it and I kind of lost it. So, but uh, music gave me that direct experience and uh, there was an experience that I had where it was so deep that the subjective experience was as deep as objective. Right, so that's when my respect for you know aesthetic or Apple, for it, for that matter, I used to be a Google guy before. Then I <laughs> really understood what Apple and uh, all the other companies also who really focus on design. Right, so design and uh, arts. Uh, in, it used to be science and engineering. Second, it was design and arts. Uh, the third learning that happened in the last maybe three years for me is uh, about people. Um, People, you, you know, uh, people are probably the most complex beings, right? And you know, Beckon is a lot about, you know, enabling the service providers. Um, and my understanding of people happened from how to enable people in our own company. We are 1,000 people right now. How to make them 10x? How to make the Gen Z take responsibility and, you know, really take the pain to solve hard problems, which was uh, not like how I was used to solving problems. Um, and that... Um, made me understand what is some level, I, I'm still understanding what, it, what is empathy. Empathy is, you know, truly forgetting yourself and becoming the other, right? Um, so I, I find, uh, you know, all these three to be there in the challenge that we are after uh, in Beckon, right? Uh, so Beckon is really, really high tech. So for, uh, since we have unbundled everything, um, you know, to put together and make it work, it is not a simple thing. It is right now we are, as Bala said, we are still in the day one, right? So to, uh, and Namayatri is uh, something that we have taken a narrow approach right now in Beckon and like made something work. But when the real vision, to really achieve the real vision of Beckon, it really, really needs that depth and first principles thinking. And I can talk about, you know, which are the areas where we uh, have to do science-like work, deep science work, right? Um, the second is again, uh, design-wise, uh, it's, it's very complex right now, as uh, you can see in Nitin's presentation, how many things he has put together, right? And design is about simplification, right? Design is about, you know, identifying the right um, simple designs and uh, something that just creates the, you know, it clicks for the customer. It, it um, has to work for the customer, especially difficult in an open system. Right? Like you can see how Android versus iOS, how iOS is a closed system, they were able to achieve the customer, the user experience much, much more easily. But Android took many more number of years, right? And Beckon is much, much more an open system. So you need a deep understanding of design principles to, uh, you know, create the 
the best experience for the user. And the third is uh, the Beckon is also about you know bringing a lot of different kinds of people people together. Uh, so right now we are uh, working with let's say auto drivers, and uh, we are understanding them. And a lot of times we f feel like you know uh, people there feel marginalized. And even when we are trying to help them out, uh, the trust, how to establish the trust, how to kind of, uh, sometimes you might even help somebody and they might uh, be against you, right? So things like that, how to really even you know, go beyond uh, you know, the, these kind of challenges and uh, you, you need a true understanding of people, right? So uh, this is the, these three things, you know, the, the, the science and the design and the people part, uh, these three and having uh, you know, deep first principles uh, uh, challenges in all these three is what uh, is motivating us to you know work uh, in Beckon, right? Um, and one of the projects we have we worked in Beckon for I think two to three years. Um, we uh, helped in launching Yatri in Cochin and a uh, bunch of other projects <coughs> also um, to uh, build some of the infra uh, for Beckon. Current one which has started getting very good traction is Namayatri. Um, and um, in, in that, in the tech side, we see that you need to do first principles innovation in maps. And uh, second, we also see in EV adoption, there is first principles innovation. And since EV is not only about, I think you mentioned about, it is not about just replacing the current transport into the, the same uh, auto moving into an EV auto. So we see that new kinds of vehicles can happen. One of the ma main points that, uh, we see is batching has to happen. New kinds of batching has to happen. It's not only about changing the energy source from you know gas to uh, electric. It is also about even in electric, how can one driver let's say serve ten people and still give you know a luxury car experience. So these are these are some of the you know deep tech plus design problems that we are seeing, uh, and also we are seeing new ways to uh, new products which will build communities. It is not only about you know talking about communities. Uh, it is re it's also about a lot of technology innovation to you know building a trust network, uh, bringing in new kind of voice of the customer, voice of the service provider. How to bring it up to the top and help us you know in a community driven way build products. So there is there is a lot of technology and product innovation required, right? Um, yeah. So th those are my thoughts. Uh, you have any questions? Yeah, during the coffee break again and. You answered the question, by the way. How do you bring in? How do you bring in, into this mobility chaos some structure? Bring art into it. <laughs> sure. See, uh, it's a it's a bigger answer, I would say. One of the we have started right now with the autos, right? But we are truly looking at how to create a multimodal system, and it includes you know integrating the metro, the buses, and new kinds of vehicles in between the autos and the buses that we are seeing. Our primary focus is vehicles in which drivers are also involved. There are also people focusing on you know, uh, two-wheelers, etc. But th th those are all pretty much, uh, we, we believe in India, uh, since there are lots of people, you also need to enable service providers. So we are looking at um, how to uh, you know, create that service provider plus the customer, new kinds of vehicles, multimodal, um, EV conversion, innovating on maps, uh, all of these together, and, and setting the best customer-centric culture. Th there is, I might, uh, you might have heard about Mumbai Dabbawalas. There was a hard, uh, Mumbai Dabbawalas are uh, a carrier, carrier food service in Mumbai. Okay. Right. It's a hundred year old, uh, you know, community driven enterprise. And without technology, they, they are a Six Sigma enterprise. And it's a community driven initiative because of the culture that they follow. So very, very customer. They, they think, uh, you know, customer is, you know, it's like uh, almost, they are a religious group. They think customer is the God. So in a secular way, how to create such a culture in Bangalore for the service providers. Yeah. Thank you, Vilmar, for these insights. Give him a hand. And there's a future for mobility in Bangalore and beyond. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vilmar.